Okay, let's take a look at the Roland VAD 306 drum set. This is the most compact um, set in the VAD line, which is the new Roland line. It looks like an acoustic kit, it plays like an acoustic kit, but it's a fully functioning electronic kit. This would be the one that um, I could see being the top choice for, you know, practice studios, home studios, rehearsal spaces, churches, schools. Um, it gives you the realistic playing experience that has like, it has real shells. So it feels like real drums. The bass drum is an 18 inch shallow bass drum. So it feels like you're kicking a drum. The toms and snare have wood shells. Um, so it gives you the kind of the feel and look and vibe of like a, like a small bop kit. It's a five piece kit. You get two to two rack toms, floor tom, snare drum, two crashes, a ride and a hi-hat and the 18 inch bass drum comes with the TD 17 module. All of that you can learn more about in greater detail in the review. Here we're going to just take a listen, look and listen to a bunch of the presets and then some of the um, editing capabilities that you may not be fully aware of when you just turn it on and start playing. You can tune things, you can change the muffling, you can apply effects to each pad separately. So let's, let's go through the presets first. So I'm going to scroll through. We're going to go through preset 1 through 10. There's a whole lot more. I think there's 60 presets, but that would take all day. We're just going to do the first 10. Uh, so let's start with number one. Here it is. No effects are applied. This is just straight out of the module. A little bit of limiter just to keep the level from peaking, but that's it. This is what you get when you turn on the VAD uh, 306 drum kit. All right, now let's go to preset number two. All right, now here is the third kit. That hi-hat is really cool. You don't get that too often with electronic hi-hats. All right, next kit. Rolls are really responsive. All right, next kit. Each of the crash symbols was also playing a ride. Very cool. All right, we're gonna move on to the next one.
rims were giving me some rim shots. Very realistic. Cool. Next kit. Here in that one, I need to adjust the kick settings and not get those little tiny little details. But next kit. All right, moving right along. I have the ambient setting at 12 o'clock, so you're getting like half of the ambience level. Do that reverb. A little surprise, surprise on the uh, second rack tom. All right, next kit. This is number 10. All right, next thing I'm gonna do is start messing with the ambience. So you can, it's a knob on the module. You can bring in the reverb. There it is. That's for the whole kit, reverb on the whole kit. Now I'm gonna mess with the low end EQ knob. You can filter it or you can boost it. Do the same thing with the high, really filter it, and then brighten it up. All done with the twist knob on the module. Very cool, very easy. All right, now we're going to the muffling feature. Gonna mess with some sounds on the kick drum first. Turn off the reverb so you can really hear what's happening. Snare drum, wide open, deaden it up. Toms, open, dead. Cymbal, let's deaden that thing up. Now bring in some of that reverb. Now the kit's starting to transform. Now we're gonna go into the tuning, get real extreme. Dropping that kick way down. Snare. Surreal. Ride cymbal, make it really small. Make it gigantic. All right, we're gonna keep it there. Super weird. And then we're gonna start messing with effects. So now this kit doesn't sound anything like it did in the preset. Great for doing some some strange loops or backing, you know, like non-acoustic sounding stuff. All right, let's get into some effects here. What are we going to do first? We're going to just start messing. So you can adjust the amount of the effect on each pad. So I'm going to like boost the effect on the kick and snare. Really kind of exaggerate. Delay. I'm just going to scroll through a bunch of effects here. gets kind of weird real fast. More delay. Whole new universe. All right, let's move on to some other effects. See what else we got. Different kind of delay. Keep going. So 
sounds like some kind of a chorus. I rolled off the highs to make it sound lo-fi a little bit. All right, let's go back to some other effects. Distortions. Moving on. Another distortion. Super quick. I'm just like scrolling through. It doesn't take any time. But you got to know where the stuff is. It's under the other feature on the module. Some sort of wah. <laughs> I'm bringing up the gain of the effect itself on the kick and snare. Just exaggerate. heavy pumping compression kind of gives you a rhythm of its own Super lo-fi and dirty. Move on. So you can kind of get lost in this world, but I find it very inspiring. That's perfect for loops. All right, Bit Crusher. Getting real ugly in all the right ways. So I'm bringing down the level so it's not so exaggerated. Just see what I can do with it. It's pretty gnarly bit crusher. Pretty wild. Again, I'm just grabbing the dial and adjusting the level of the effects on the kick and snare mostly. The other pads have some effects on them too, just by the default. It's just one effect, by the way. You got reverb and whatever multi effect you put on. <laughs> Again, in all the right ways. All right, back to the delay, and then we'll wrap up a review here. So that's the VAD 306 drum kit. If you're in the market for a very professional, high quality kit that won't take up a ton of space in your studio, but it still feels like real drums and looks like real drums, easy to play, I could just kind of play it as if it was a drum kit. Didn't have to adjust much, except for maybe my kick technique. I need to not bury the beater so much. That's it. Hope you dig it, and uh, thanks for checking it out.